guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all well. I thought I'd jump on here today to do a little DIY uh, tea bag with you guys because I thought some of you might uh, like to know how I made it. And I haven't done a craft with me in quite a while. It's a little hard sometimes because I share my craft space also with my kids and they like to make a lot of noise <laughs> so sometimes it's a little difficult so that's why I don't do as many as I can so I've just made um, this cute little pouch using the new uh, Dear Lizzie oh I'm trying to think of what it's called now what is it called give me a sec and I'll just um, find out so here and now dear lizzie here and now so i made this cute acetate flat mail which i've already decorated using the dear lizzie here and now acetate and gave me an idea to create a tea bag um, that will match with this collection so then i thought i could pop it into this flat mail that I just created so what you will need is some vellum and if you don't have any vellum you could use paper or any type of cardstock and you could also use like those plastic pockets that you use for um, project life and things like that to make pocket letters so that's just if you don't have any vellum and also if you don't have any acetate as well I've got some Mylar acetate right here that I want to use with this cut apart piece this came from the here and now collection and I thought it would look really nice okay. On the tea bag with a bit of the mylar and then I can stitch the word tea onto this piece here so that's the cut apart that I'm going to use this is the tea bag that I'm going to use for um, so I can measure what size I want to do my vellum tea bag so right now we just need to cut a bit of acetate I just thought it would make a pretty touch to the background of this cut apart so that's all that's why I'm using the mylar just see I just got this new paper cutter and already it looks like it's not cutting for me it's so frustrating I don't know what's going on because the first time I cut this it cut like butter and it already seems like the blade has gone flat and I've only used it a couple of times very very frustrating I might just have to try and maybe trim this piece off or hopefully I can tear through it yep there we go so it looks like I'm going to have to get another new paper cutter because this one was on sale and yeah it seems to not be doing the job right now which is a pity it was perfect when I first got it but now that I've cut a few things with it it doesn't seem to be working that well might just use my scissors actually so just want just a little bit um, don't want too much just want it to show a little bit and then I think I'll stitch T onto there it's quite big so I'm going to have to create sort of a bigger sort of tea bag okay so grab our vellum 
so it should still cut my paper it's just not cutting through acetate anymore I don't know if I've already you know um, made my cutter blunt or not okay so I want to make sure there's enough so I can double this vellum over and then we've got to leave enough room to do our tag bit up the top so if I just see it didn't even cut through the vellum then what is going on of course this always happens when you're on camera and filming like anything that can go wrong does go wrong and now it seems like I'm going to have to get a new paper cutter when I only got this just a few days ago very very sad look at that it won't even just it won't even cut paper anymore I don't know what's going on all right so there's our tea bag piece here so you just fold it in half and then I'm going to stitch first actually let's cut out our piece so it looks shaped like a tea bag so it's going to be quite a large sort of tea bag so I'm going to go cut a piece there there and I don't do any measuring um, I probably should but I don't. I figure it's okay to be a little rustic and if it's a little crooked, that's okay as well. It's not a big deal. So our tea bag's gonna fit into there perfectly. So now I just wanna stick this piece here onto the mylar. Um, let me just find my tape. use some of my double-sided tape I just thought it'd look really pretty with that pink shine on it through there when once I stick the tea on. So, oh, Sunny's going off her, off her rocker right now again. So, I thought I'd use these Dear Lizzie thickers because then they will match with, with the pouch that I've done there with the gold. So I was going to use some of these letters here. So what don't I usually use? So I need T, T, E, A. So I don't think I need the A there for the stay because I wouldn't use that word. And I can also use the T from the, that word as well. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that on and then I'm going to stitch across there with my sewing machine, just this piece here once I've done it. So we've got an A. I just need to find an E. I'll get it off this um, word five here as well because I'm not going to use the word five for anything, I'm pretty sure. Stick that on 
and then I'm just going to do some stitching across there so the thickers stay on because I find thickers um, with some of them depending on what you stick it on they're not the best at sticking and I think the stitching gives it a cute little um, element as well like a little bit of detail which is really cute so I'm just going to go stitch across here off camera and I'll be right back okay so I've just done my stitching I'll just trim off that excess cotton on there And there we go, look, that should fit perfectly onto the tea bag there. And I think that's going to be really pretty. All right, so now I just need to stitch down the sides and along the bottom with my sewing machine. Okay, so I've just stitched down the sides and along the bottom. I'll just get rid of this cotton. My sewing machine has been playing up lately and it's been really annoying me. Um, it's sort of, I'll just move this paper cutter out of the way because I don't need that anymore actually. So what's been happening with my sewing machine is it's been sort of getting stuck. Um, so I'm just going to check now. I'm pretty sure my tea bag fits in there, but I just wanted to check. It's quite large, as you can see there. So now that I know that that goes in there, I could even pop a big T2 tea bag in there if I wanted to. I'm actually going to stick this down now before I pop the tea bag in. Yes, so my sewing machine's been getting jammed up, like knotted up if that if that makes any sense. I don't know if anyone else's does it or not, but. All right. So I'm just sticking down some double-sided tape onto this so it'll stick onto the vellum. This is a nice fun summery collection and I know it's not summer here at the moment in Australia but I know a lot of you guys sort of on the other side of the world are now going into summer so I'm going to be probably sending out some summer inspired mail um, if the postal services you know are still up and running and everything with everything that's that's going on I've just been trying to craft when I can when I feel like it there we go I think that's so pretty I love just the simplicity of it and the pink with the yellow and the gold let's see so I want to go this far, this green one with green tea. It's going to fit perfectly in the pouch. Like it's going to be the perfect size to go into my flat mail. So 
I think I'll keep it at this because the green goes really well with this collection as well. So what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to go stitch along the side and along the top. And then I'm going to attach my bit of um, string to create the tea bag as well. Or to create the tea bag string, I should say. Okay, so I've stitched my tea bag in. Now we're just going to add our twine. I'm going to staple it on there for the moment just to hold it into place so then when I do stitch it along it doesn't move on me. Oh. <laughs> hey, this is real guys, this is what you get. <laughs> When things don't work, I probably have run out of... I oh know I've still got staples there. I don't know why that didn't work. <laughs> things like this always happen to us right when we're on camera. So, yeah, you basically get what, <laughs> what you see here. There's no editing or anything. So if I stuff up, you guys are going to see me stuff up which we all do because we are all human. All right, so I'm going to go stitch that on there now before it moves anymore. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we have stitched our twine on there. Now I just need to get my little puffy stickers to do the little um, little string piece. So I've been using these Lala Love thickers because I don't have any glitter card stock at the moment. Otherwise, I would have hold like using one of my dies, maybe one of my heart dies or one of my star dies. I would have. Um, done a glitter one to do the top bit there but I don't have any glitter card stock so I figure this is just as good as anything using your thickers all right so you just pop one thicker one like that. And then you grab another one. But you guys don't have to do this. You can do whatever you like. I just thought this was a fun and easy way to do it. Just by sticking two thickers together like that and there we go there's our cute fun little tea bag I might just add a couple of little maybe embellishments to it just to decorate it up a bit um, I think these are some um, Amy, T Amy Tangerine Journal Studio puffy stickers and they're quite little and cute and they go perfect with this collection. Because they're summery, like you could pop, look there's a cute little bubble tea there. Let's do that, let's pop the little bubble tea there. And then let's add maybe um, a watermelon or a lemon over here somewhere. Oh, I should have put the lemon in the tea, actually. That would have looked quite cute. Okay, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to pop this little lemon 
so it looks like it's inside that iced tea there. And then I might just up here somewhere pop a cute little watermelon there. There we go. I think that turned out quite cute, guys. So there you go. Super easy to make and something fun just to include in your Happy Mail. So, yeah, I'm just going to pop this into this flat mail that I made earlier. And then I'll probably make, make some other goodies to go in here as well. So... Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial and found it easy and I hope you all have a wonderful day and stay safe. Thanks. Bye.